morning everyone this is Trisha and welcome to my channel today I'm continuing my baby shower series and this is project number six I'm going to be doing some candies for the baby shower and I'm going to be calling them baby poopy candies I'm gonna be using some chocolate melts and some other items so let me tell you what they're going to be so then we can get to making these little candies all right, let me tell you first a little background on this little idea that I had. Uh, I had purchased uh, chocolate uh, candy melts, the dark chocolate and the white chocolate for Christmas to do some little treats for my family. And so I had some leftover um, and uh, it was around the New Year's time and I wanted some chocolate. I was craving some chocolate, but I usually like chocolate to have nuts. And rather than, you know, taking off and going to buy some candy bar somewhere, I remember that I had these chocolate melts, so I thought, you know what, I can make my own little candy, uh, and I have some walnuts, because my husband always likes to keep walnuts, and he likes to keep almonds and, and such. So I went and I grabbed these things, and I also remembered that I had some dried cranberries, so I grabbed some of that too, so I chopped up some of the walnuts, chopped up a little bit of the cranberries. I melted the dark chocolate, and I made little, little swirls on a piece of uh, wax paper I think it was that I used at the time or maybe it was parchment paper either one but I just made like little drops and then I just sprinkled the chopped walnuts and the craisins in there and then what I did is uh, I wanted to add a little bit more but I was out of the dark chocolate but I still had the white chocolate because uh, the walnuts and the craisins kind of stacking up on top weren't really sticking. So I went ahead and I melted the white chocolate, poured that over, and made myself some little clusters or like little turtles, if you will. Uh, and uh, they were delicious. Biting into them were delicious. I didn't make very many because I had very few little bit of chocolate left over. Uh, but my husband thought they were great too. So then I thought, because you know, I was planning out the baby shower. And then I thought, well, what can I do with these chocolate melts? I bought some molds because I'm going to do white chocolate um, on these uh, little stars here and those are going to go on the cupcake so you can buy any kind of little candy molds if you want to use that uh, I also bought this mold here and uh, I'll need some dark chocolate and some blue and I did buy the blue uh, chocolate chips or the chocolate wafers uh, for that also but uh, this is not the project that I'm doing <laughs> this is just to show you that you can use any kinds of molds but anyway um, <clears throat> I'm not going to use a mold for this I am just going to um, pour them like I thought I would but I also was at the grocery store and they had the little mini cupcake uh, oops sorry they have the little mini cupcake uh, holders here so I thought well maybe I could build them in there um, and then I also thought you know instead of the white chocolate I remembered that they had a caramel melts at, uh, well, I got them from Hobby Lobby, but you can get these candy melts pretty much anywhere. But at Hobby Lobby, I get it for $1.99 a bag. So it's the same size bag you can pretty much find anywhere else. And a lot of places, they're like three bucks or more. So this was a good, uh, good deal where I got them from. And uh, <clears throat> that anyway, I thought I'd use caramel because I thought that would look more like a little poopy. So anyway, this is what I've got. I've got some, a bag of the dark, chocolate you can use the milk chocolate if you prefer that that's actually what I had before but I decided to go with the dark chocolate flavor and I've already put half the bag into my little melting pot and I feel like I'm gonna need a lot more than that depending on how many I can get out of this so I might have to go and buy some more but I'll still make some for you right now and then I got this bag it's a salted caramel now, I know the bag says uh, this one was says $3.99 but I actually got this one for $2.99 and this was a $2.99, but they're, they're actually have them for $1.99 all the time. So I got that. And then, uh, like I said, we always have walnuts in our house. So we've got some of that. Some dried uh, cranberries, which I had a few left in here. So I've been chopping them up. I'm going to need some parchment paper uh, to pour these on. Or if you want to use the little cupcake, uh, little mini cupcake holders or candy holders, you can use that. Uh, and I've got a melting pot of car. I've got some a knife because I need to chop up all this stuff. I'm gonna need some a uh, little spoon to swirl things around. I've got my little melting pot here. This is a little candy melting pot from Wilton, and I've got some chocolate in there melting away. Let's see. Okay, so then I thought about like, well, should I just put them out and have people grab them? But then I thought, well, you know what? I don't really want to have them just to be open and just you know being grabbed with you know, hands, uh, which which is fine because it's just going to be family. But then I thought, you know, why not make them a little bit pretty? So I got some little plastic uh, 
little treat bags. They can be smaller than this if you're only gonna put one in each bag, but I think I might put two in each bag. I'm not sure. Uh, it, it all depends on how it all comes out. I have these stickers that say, it's a boy, and I thought that would be a cute little label to put on the outside of the bag. I've also got some ribbons so that I can tie up the little bag. And this is, these are completely optional with decorations you want to use for your final uh, product. I also have these little paper doilies, and I kind of thought that maybe I would insert them inside the bag, and then when I put the label here, you could see it, and then I could slide the candy behind the little doily and then tie them up. So here you go, that's a little idea. All right, let's get to working on these because I'm gonna try two different ways. I wanna try doing it the way that I did it before and then I wanna try it on the little little cupcake holders. Oh, by the way, I also did another little project with these which I'll show you at the very end of the video. So make sure you stick around. Okay, let me put the camera down so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, I don't think I, I don't know, maybe I did, I mentioned that I needed some scissors. Oh, well of course I'm gonna need a tray to put everything in anyway so that I can carry these to the refrigerator. I've got some little spoons here to help me grab the uh, chocolate and dip it because I don't want anything like, like a big spoon, I just need something small. So anyway, I've got the tray with some parchment paper on it ready just in case. All right, let's go ahead and get to, is it crafting? What are we doing? Let's get to doing it. All right, I've got, uh, like I said, I've got the chocolates here. I've gone ahead and I poured the rest of the bag in here because I feel like, you know, half of that bag is just not gonna be enough. So I've got a whole bag, which is, let me check how many ounces they are just in case. This is a 12 ounce, so we're gonna find out how much we can get out of 12 ounces of just the chocolate, and then the salted caramel is another 12 ounces. So it depends on whether you wanna do like, a, you know, all dark or milk chocolate and not have to use like a caramel as well. So then you'll know that 24 ounces of chocolate is what we're working with, or candy. Okay, so the first thing I was doing is I was chopping up these walnuts, and I was just doing it here on a little board here with my scissor, with my, sorry, my knife. You can use, um, <clears throat> you know, if you have a little chopper, use that. Or if you just want to put them in a little baggie and kind of bang, bang them up with a rolling pin or something, and then just chop them up even finer. That would probably be nice. It depends on, you know, if you like things to be chunky and have a bite to them, or you just like things to have, you know, just a slight flavor of nuts in there. But then of course, you know, use your, use your own taste for this. So that's what I'm doing. Chopping these up and I'm putting them in this little bowl here where I've already got some uh, dried cranberries also chopped up. Okay, so I am dropping a little bit of chocolate and I'm using this little spoon so it's about I guess it's about maybe a teaspoon of chocolate into this little cup here I went ahead and I dropped that in there I'm gonna drop another one over here to the side which is the way that I did it during the holidays or New Year's when I decided that I had that craving so I just actually I dropped a bigger uh, bit than that and then I just took some of these uh, craisins and the walnuts and I put them on top, which I'm going to do to this one as well. Okay, and I don't have another pot to melt my, my caramel bits, so I'm going to have to do all of my chocolate first, and then melt, uh, clean this up and melt my caramel, and then pour that on top. So that's what I'm going to do right now, is just drop them all. And I, I'm kind of liking the little drop, because I don't think I'm going to keep them in the little cup. I don't think I'm going to, you know, like peel them out. And I feel like I poured maybe more than I needed in here. And not only that, but even when I put the caramel in there, I don't think it's going to be enough to fill it. My idea was first to take these little cups and sort of shape them like, I thought, well, I'm going to fold them up and shape them like a pamper or something. And I did that, but it ended up looking more like a little baby shoe than it did a diaper. I was trying to figure out, you know, what could I do with these little cups uh, so that then they could have some little baby poop in them. <laughs> So, I'm sorry, I cracked myself up with that one. Okay, so I thought I'd fold it up also and do this, but that doesn't look like a diaper. So that didn't work. So I thought, well, maybe I'll just do that. But now that I'm thinking about it, I think I'd just rather do the little drops. I like the way that looks. And then when I get the caramel, I can sort of drizzle it on top. And I'm thinking about putting two of these in every little baggie. So I'm gonna, I have about 40. So I would need to do eight. 80 candies and that's quite a bit so 
uh, <laughs> I'm going to do as many as I can with this bag and then have to go purchase some more. Okay. Look at that. That looks, that looks really good. I really like that. So since I've got this nice little spoon, um, this little ceramic measuring spoon that I got with some my temptations, uh, but you can find these really anywhere now. Um, I've seen them in a lot of places, little ceramic measuring spoons. You can use plastic ones, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so I think this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick with just the dropping because I feel like I can, I can control it, the amount, because I really can't see in here. It seems like it's a little too much. Look at that. And then I'm going to need way more to make 80 little candies. Now, I'm not going to have that many guests at my shower. I'm not going to have 40 people. Um, it's just going to be probably under 30. Just a few family members. Look at that. Okay, I think this is, yeah. I'm getting more and more convinced that this is the way that I want to do it rather than other little cups. So let me go ahead and get a bunch of these done and does uh, with whatever amount of chocolate I have here. I'm just gonna do that and then I'm gonna clean this up and melt my my caramel, pour that on top and I'll let you see that. And then we'll put them back into the, well not back into the fridge because I'm not gonna put them in the fridge, I'm just gonna leave them here. And put them in the fridge so they can get nice and solid and then we'll make our little baggies and we'll decorate them so that you can see that. And then I'll show you that little extra little, uh, Thing I came up with. <laughs> Alright everyone, I have finished up uh, doing the chocolate and the little nuts and the raisins and I said I would be back with the caramel, but I just wanted to show you how many little drops I did actually end up getting out of the 12 ounces of the chocolate melts and um, I did about a, a teaspoon approximately little drops and uh, here I got a whole tray full of them. Can you see that? Okay. So then I've got another tray over here. Oops, a little raisin kind of went off the side there, a little rogue. And I've got another tray. And then I've just got a little bit more on this tray over here, okay? So I've got about 50. Okay, so that should give you an idea how much you can get. So I am gonna go get another bag, actually, of this chocolate because I don't know why I only bought one bag. Um, not only that, because I think I want to make those little lollipops that say that, you know, let me show you the mold again. I think I want to make these little lollipops with the blue, because I did buy that blue chocolate milk. And I think maybe I thought I was going to do that first, and then I would do those other ones. Uh, but I need to go buy more, more of that chocolate. And I'm probably just going to go ahead and buy another bag of the salted caramel, because I believe I'm going to use the equal amount on top to give it that little baby poop look. Look. I said look, look. Okay, everyone, my house smells so good. It's not because of the chocolate. It's because if you can look back over there, I've got my crock pot going and I've got a brisket going and it smells so good. Now, um, I did get a corn beef brisket and I've never had that before. I don't think I have. Um, and it's going to be there for maybe four hours. I think it's been maybe a couple of hours now. Uh, but let me know, have you had corned beef brisket? Is it delicious? I'm about to find out if I like it or not. But I, my plan is probably gonna be to shred it up and make some nachos with it, so that'll be good. And, oh, I wanted to share something else with you now that I'm here, that I'm remembering. I got these labels because, um, I don't know what I thought. Oh, I know what I was gonna do with them. And actually I don't, I don't remember, I don't remember what I thought I was going to do with them. But then I realized they were actually stickers. And I bought a package of 24. I got them from Hobby Lobby. I'm sorry I don't remember how much the packet cost me, but it couldn't have been very expensive because I would not have bought it, especially when I had no idea what I was doing with them. But now I do remember. I was going to use this to wrap around, you know, the napkin and fork. Okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. I was going to use this to wrap around the little napkin and the little fork and the little knife and spoon because I thought I'd do like a little silverware thing, even though we're not even going to be needing the, the uh, knife and the spoon really. But I thought I'd do like a little trio and then wrap this up and I ended up just, uh, when I realized it was stickers, I ended up just wrapping up my forks with a little napkin and a little ribbon. My sister-in-law came over and helped me with that. So then we just did really nice and simple. 
And so these are stickers. So these are for water bottles. And uh, so I went ahead and I bought myself some little tiny water bottles. Here we go, right here. I took off the label that they had on them because I first put it on there and they were just coming off for some reason. So I took off the label and then I've put them on here. But this label doesn't reach all the way around. Look at that. So it must be for a much thinner water bottle. I don't know. Uh, because if they were to be able to overlap and stick over here, I believe that would they would be coming off. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little drop of hot glue and stick them down. So that's what I'm doing with that. Little tiny, I don't even remember, I think they were 8 ounce water bottles. And I only bought 12 and I've got 24 stickers. So I'm going to go buy another 12. So I have 24 because I'm going to have that and I'm going to have some tea. And I think I'm going to get some like Blue Hawaiian Punch. Someone suggested to use... Um, Blue Hawaiian Punch and then put some uh, vanilla ice cream floating in there. So that looks really good and it tastes really good. I haven't been able to find that Blue Hawaiian Punch. I even went looking for Blue Kool-Aid and I can't find Blue Kool-Aid because my idea was to use Blue Kool-Aid with some clear lime soda, maybe some um, lemon flavored uh, or lime flavored, like a, like a mineral water or a spritzer or something like that. I don't know. I'm sure I'm using the wrong words here. I'm thinking like a seltzer, but not a seltzer, but it's like it's a mineral, uh, just something bubbly. And I had tried making something and I added, uh, you know, the Welch's grape juice, you know, the bottle that looks like a bottle of wine, uh, but it has a little tinge of green and yellow. So it actually gave my, my drink, I mixed that with some lime soda and the lime flavored uh, uh, mineral water. And it actually tasted really good. But when I added a little drop of food coloring, because I couldn't find the blue Kool-Aid little packets, the single packets, I cannot find them. I don't know, my grocery store decided not to carry them anymore. I don't know. Uh, they did redo everything, and I did ask someone to help me, and he could not find them, so I don't know what's going on. Maybe I'll try Walmart or some other place. But, because I can't find the blue Hawaiian um, punch either, so I'm going to try Walmart. But my point in the whole, this whole story here is I'm going to ask you, do you have any ideas what I could put together? And um, if so, maybe I can find those things. If I can't find the blue Hawaiian punch, if not, I'm just going to give up. I'm not going to worry about it. Maybe I'll just color some Sprite. Like I said, I am going to have some tea, water for drinks. So the punch, the blue punch was just something that I thought would be cute. We bought a cute little container to pour it out of. We also have a punch bowl in case I do go with the idea with the vanilla ice cream in it. And I've seen some on Pinterest and they put little rubber duckies floating in there. That looks so, super cute. Anyway, um, I'm going to thank you in advance if you have a fantastic idea that I can use. Uh, so like I said, this my channel is for sharing ideas so uh that's my intention so hopefully some of you have some okay um i've already cleaned my little pot uh, the little the little silicone pot that goes into my my this one here i've already i turned this off so it's cool so i've already washed my little silicone pot that goes in here where you actually melt stuff in and i'm just going to dry it up put it back in here get the caramel uh the salted caramel. It's going to be delicious. I'm going to get these uh, little wafers melted so we can finish pouring on top of those and then we can see how cute they're going to look in those little bags. I think they're going to be cute. I feel like they're going to be really small for that bag. So I do have a smaller little bag. I don't have enough so I might have to go buy those. So I'm going to pull them out. We're going to see which looks better, what size works better for the amount that I'm making and the size that I'm making. And I'll tell you, if you want to know what the diameter is of the, the teaspoon drop of that, it's about a quarter in diameter, what these are ending up to be. Okay? There we go. Put my chubby hand right next to it. Oh, forgive my hands. They've been so dry, and um, I, I'm been doing a lot of cleaning, a lot of scrubbing, so they're really nasty. I don't want to put any moisturizer on them because I'm working with food. That brisket smells so good, everybody. Okay, I got a little message coming in to me. I don't know what it is, so I shall be back. All right, everyone, I am back. My caramel, my caramel melts or wafers are melted. And I took a little taste. I'm going to take another little taste right now. This, oh my God, delicious. Okay. Well, I also want to tell you I'm drinking this uh, tea. This is a... Te de Jamaica or hibiscus tea. That's the brand. I don't know. There's probably other brands that have uh, 
hibiscus tea, but I'm gonna tell you something, this is so good. So I put two cups of water in a little pot and then I boiled it and then I added two bags of the, this little tea, this little tea bags. I added two of them in there to give it a really nice, strong flavor to my tea. Now, I'm a, I love sweet tea, plain sweet tea. I'm Texas, it's mandatory that you like sweet tea. I'm Texan, <laughs> I'm Texas. Well, I am Texas lady. Anyway, uh, it's mandatory that you like sweet tea, but let me tell you, I don't put any sugar in this one at all. I actually put it in some ice and the ice is already melted, so it's nice and cool and it's really refreshing and it's a nice soft flavor without having to put any um, sugar in it and it's, like it's, it says it's a herbal tea and it's no caffeine, so that's pretty good. Okay, so now I'm gonna start pouring this caramel over my little clusters here. Let's get some of that off of here. My sister-in-law's coming over. She's got some items that she feels I can use for the baby shower. I've got two sister-in-law, so I, this one is my husband's sister. And then I've got my other sister-in-law who also helps out some, um, my brother's wife. Okay. I'm going to pour this over like that. <laughs> you know what? And I'm not even, I'm probably not even going to pour as much as I did of the chocolate one, even though I'm still going to go and probably purchase another bag of this because, um, and I'm going to go immediately uh, after I'm done with the video um, and get it because I want to have it here because I'm, I want to keep working on it tonight. And I want to enjoy that brisket, you guys. Okay. I was going to attempt to do another live video and uh, do this during the live video, but I thought I have to do a lot of it interrupting because I'll have to wash the pot and go, you know, dry it and all this other stuff. And then, you know, we're going to have to wait for them to harden, even though these are hardened on here. And, um, you know, just with a cool temperature of my house right now, it's nice and cool in here. I, I jacked up the AC <laughs> because I've got that crock pot going. And usually when I'm in the kitchen, oh my gosh, I get so hot. Just preparing everything to pull out everything that I wanted to do for this video. I was sweating, so I took a shower before. Cool off so that I can be nice and fresh. Okay, that's not a very interesting conversation. I, I don't know, is it? So I wanted to do that live video. But then I thought, you know what, I don't know if you guys prefer me to give you like a day advance notice. I don't know. I thought if I gave you like at least an hour or two advance notice, maybe that would help. I don't know. Y'all tell me. What do you think? Um, uh, but, you know, like I said, I decided not because not only that, but my son was having his girlfriend come by. And I d didn't know if she was going to stick around and visit or anything like that. Turns out she didn't because they decided to go to go shopping. Well, I don't know if they're actually shopping, but they decided to go to out of town and do some looking around, I guess. Okay, so I think that's how I'm gonna do it, just like that. And then I'm gonna let that dry up. I'm gonna do the other two pans. I got the complete other two pans. So I have 50 of them, I think, 50 or 51, that I, I was able to get. Um, but as you can see, some of them are a little bit bigger, some of them are a little bit smaller. I don't think it matters. I think they, they look cute in just such a kind of a deformed way. <laughs> Just like that because they're little baby poops. Look at that. Little baby poopies. Okay, you guys. Uh, I'll be back when I've done them all and they've been in the fridge for a little while so they can be nice and hard. Let me go ahead and grab another pan here. Uh, so I can show you. Because maybe you decide that, you know what, you're not making little baby poopies. You just want to make little chocolate clusters just for the fun of it. This is what it would be like. It's like a little wafer thin. So that's what it's looking like right now. Okay. Oh my, I, I almost wanted to get that and put it in my mouth with a little bit of that caramel. But I'll wait till the very end and do a little taste this on one of them. Okay, you guys, I shall be back. I actually had these in the freezer for a little bit because I wanted them to get hardened a little bit faster. I know they're going to be doing a little bit of sweating after you put them in the freezer, so I kind of don't want to do that. Maybe just in the refrigerator or just leave them outside of your house cool enough, which I feel like I could have just done that and let them harden on their own. Uh, but I just wanted to do this quickly because, you know, time's going by and I got to get this video done. So now I'm just going to take them off of here. 
and I really don't know why I'm transferring them to another little tray. Uh, it, you don't really have to do that. Let me move this over. I don't want to break these. They feel kind of gentle or delicate, fragile. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I also thought that um, I've got today's February the 28th and the baby shower is March 9th. So I'm going to have nine days the baby shower and I feel like I don't know if I want to bag all of these yet uh, because you know we have uh, quite a few days and I don't want the little baggies just kind of sitting around and then you know maybe my kitty cat or something you know getting at them and of course if I do bag them do all the little baggies and I decide to put them in my fridge they're gonna take up a whole lot of, a lot of space um, I could put them up on top of the refrigerator I think that would be a good place, but I cook a lot, so my kitchen gets hot. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bag a few just to give you the idea of how to do it. And then if you need to store them, well, I have here a little, just a little storage container here. And I got this from the Dollar Tree, yeah, you know, so I'm just going to put some uh, wax paper that I've cut up to size. And then I can layer them in my little box here. And then once I have a layer, I can put another, uh, you know, cut up piece of wax paper, make another layer, you know, just keep doing that as much as I need so, need. so then I have a nice little box where I can actually put them away either in my pantry where it's, they'll be dark and cool or I can put them in the refrigerator. One or the other, however you decide to do it. Okay, so let's go ahead and start putting these in the little baggies because I need to decide... Um, if this baggie was going to be too big and I'm thinking about it and I'm thinking, no, I don't, I don't think it'll be too big. I think it'll be fine. I did have this other smaller bag, but I don't have enough of these. I could just go buy some and since I'm going to go buy some more chocolate melts, um, I can do that. I just happen to have these little baggies, but I wanted to compare if I was to put them in here. And this is awesome if you just want to bag one and just give everybody one because I have all these other little candies. I've got some kisses. I've got some pillow mints. I might make those lollipops. I'm not sure. And then I showed you this mold with these stars that I'm doing out of white chocolate. These are going to go on my cupcakes. I think I said that. I'm not really sure if I did, but that's another candy. And I feel like that's a lot of candy. So um, this would be a great idea just to bag them. <laughs> small so my sister-in-law's on her way over here so i'm actually going to ask her opinion uh and then we're going to go to the store okay so this is the bigger bag and i thought well i'm going to put two of them in each bag so let's do that let's see how that looks we just saw how the little bag looks and i, I really want to do the, the bigger bag because i already have these bags i don't have to go buy them i mean i have to go to the store anyway but you know why i have to spend another two bucks or whatever the little baggies cost okay so my idea was to put a doily in front like that and then put two of these in the bag that looks good the doily is kind of big the bag's kind of big for just two i'm gonna turn them over actually i should have them yeah let's do that let's put them in there i'm deciding this in front of you guys <laughs> that's how i do a lot of what i do and those of you who have who watch my videos know that I tend to do that. So, I mean, I've had somebody comment once, you're all over the place. Yeah, I am. I am, that's me. And I do talk a lot and I do talk fast, but I'm giving you guys a lot of thought, a lot of instruction, and I'm hoping that I'm giving you a lot of tips. So we can take it like that and then just do this and then put the little sticker here and put a little ribbon. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish that off. My sister-in-law's here and I shall be back. All right, everyone, so like I said, my sister-in-law was coming over. She did come over, and she actually helped me decide on which bag to use. And I opted for the larger bag, and I opted to put two of the candy in there instead of using that small one and just putting one candy in there. So this is what I did because it was looking a little big. We took the little doily, and we folded it in half. Here's the little finished bag so you can see. We took the little doily, folded it in half, and then we took two of these little candies right in there. Okay, as soon as we put them in the bag, we ended up trimming the top of the bag because it's a little long, it's a little tall. So you can use any treat bags you find. 
If they're a little too long, it's fine because you could always trim them. So what I was doing is I was going ahead and trimming them ahead of time once I knew that I had to trim them. So I just trimmed off like a couple of inches off my particular bag. And then I just take the little doily and with the little candies in it, it's like a little diaper. See, it's got that little baby poop inside. And then we're just gonna slide that in. And, well, actually before we do that, we're gonna take one of our stickers. There we go. About a half inch up, depending on the size of your bag. Put your little sticker on there. We'll slide it down. And then I'm just gonna take a piece of a curling ribbon. Actually, I've got a piece here already cut up. And then we're just gonna gather this and tie it around. Now, um, you could knot it if you want or just, tie, you know, pull it tight and then curl it. And then I decided that I had another ribbon and I think I showed you the ribbon, I don't know. I had this other ribbon here that says it's a boy and I was gonna use that, but my sister-in-law came by with some ribbon that she brought over that she happened to have. So I've cut up little, little bits here and I'm gonna go ahead and add that one as well. And there we go. And I've already got all these little bags done. And um, I'm probably gonna do the rest of them. I need to go get more chocolate, like I said, to do way more because I wanna have at least 40 of these guys. Like 36 or 40 of them. And um, then I'm gonna put them in one of the uh, hot air balloon uh, centerpieces that I made from this past Tuesday. And I will show you that in a minute. But before I do that, I wanted to show you I said that you could store some of the candy, so I'm going to store some of it. And these are the only bags I'm going to make right now because I still have nine days for the shower. So I'll wait till, the, till I get closer and bag the rest of them. But I wanted to show you something. Remember that I was talking about these little cupcake, little mini cupcake papers, and that I wanted to form like a little diaper or something, so I had folded them, and then I decided that it looked more like a little booty. So I went ahead and decided to go with that idea. I've got my hot glue gun right here, and I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna fold down like, you know, like get a little pleat, fold down like that, make another little pleat and fold down. So then you wanna take your hot glue gun, little dot right in there, push that down, put another dot of glue on top, the other part, put that down on top of that. So you have this little shape. Let me get my finger off. There we go, like that. And then we're gonna make a little bow. And I happen to have these two rolls of ribbon. This is one eight inch wide, sorry. One eight inch wide. I have a string of glue, that's what I was pulling over. Let's move this out of the way. We're gonna make a little bow Just tie a little bow like the ones that you do on your shoelace and trim this off. Okay, so now we're gonna glue that little bow at the front here. Put that on there, it makes like a little, little baby booty. Look at that. So what I'm gonna do with this is I have these chocolate kisses. I'm gonna put them right in there Look at that, a little tucked away kiss. And I've got a tray here where I've made a whole bunch of them already. So I wanted to show you that. So that's the extra little bonus tip and another candy uh, treat that you can make. Okay, let's put these in the container so we can see how pretty they look. All right, everyone, I have now placed all my little baggies. These are the ones that I've got done for now in my little hot air balloon container right here so they'll be easy to grab by my guests. I've got my tray that I'm going to finish off with these little booties with my little chocolate candy kisses inside of them. And then I've got this other hot air balloon that I also made and uh, in this one I've already got these little packages of pillow mints. They've already, they're already pre-packaged. I think that'll be great just for that because I think if I try to put 
the candy kiss is kind of in there. I don't think they'll be able to grab them correctly and then, you know, it won't look like a cute little display. So I think I'm gonna leave these in a little tray like that. And that is how I'm gonna serve it. So I'm gonna give myself a big old thumbs up because I'm really happy with these little bags. I wanna thank my sister-in-law for coming to help me. And I uh, hope you two will give me a big old thumbs up. Leave a nice comment down below. Let me know if you like the idea, if you do something different, or if it inspires you to do something uh, similar. You could do this for any occasion. It doesn't have to be for a baby shower, of course. And just like I showed you, it doesn't have to be a little baby poop. It could be just a little, a little cluster of candy that you make yourself. Put lots of love into it. Okay, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Thank you to everyone who has been subscribing. And make sure you hit the notification bell. I put up videos every Tuesday and every Friday. And that is it, everyone. Make sure you share your social medias. And as always, enjoy.